Hello, my name is Abby Odakoya and I'm an Associate Customer Success Manager here at Mixpanel. Today I'm going to be going through with you the on, these on or after feature on retention reports. Okay, to do that I'm going to be using a finance data dummy set. Lovely. What you'll notice is I've loaded up login and then make a transfer on um, my query builder here. So let's first start with on or after. On or after calculates the percentage of users who come back on a specific time unit, for example, day, week, month, or any time after that. So actually a user will refit a user will fulfill, sorry, that came back and did event B criteria on the 1st of March or any time after that, and they still will be counted as retained. Lovely. So this is great for industries whereby you don't mind necessarily when your users come, came back, you just want to know that they came back to find value from your um, product. So finance, um, for example, I don't necessarily mind when my users um, made a transfer after they logged in. I just wanna see that they've done that and be able to see that they were retained. And of course, like I stated earlier, you can look at that per day or you can change that to a custom time unit um, or session there. Lovely. Let's now talk about the on. So on, on retention is really useful for understanding those high level usage patterns, whereby you want users to use your product regularly and you wanna know exactly when that happened. This is great to see how users are answering those day-to-day -day questions with your product. Okay, great. To finish, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you the different graph visualizations on retention here. So at the moment, I'm on retention curve, um, and that just shows me those um, cohorts of users being placed into really cool buckets um, down here. So uh, this is showing me um, the average retention. So of the 2,108 users that logged in, 78% um, here, came back um, to make a transfer within a day and so on and so forth. Um, you can view this, you'll see as a percentage here, but you can also view it as a metric figure. If you have a look here, you'll see that. Fantastic. Um, another visualization you can use are retention trends, which just show you those trends over time. Wicked. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any more questions or you wanna see any more content, please don't hesitate to reach out.